As COVID cases rise, many parents are making the tough decision to pull their children out of the classroom. But homeschooling isn't always easy. Tonight, reporter Jacinta Render found out what goes into teaching your children at home and what parents need to do to be successful. Jacinta. A mom out in East Knoxville is homeschooling her kids again this year because of the pandemic, all to keep them safe. But she says there are challenges that first timers should know about. Felicia Utsi in East Knoxville has three kids who attend Knox County Schools. Her son is in the first grade. And so him actually saying, Mama, I don't want to die. I don't want Corona. That's one of the things. She also has middle schoolers who will be learning from home this year. This will be her second time homeschooling during this pandemic. Utsi decided to keep her kids out of a Knox County classroom because of the school board's decision to make masks optional, despite the high COVID cases across the district. Now she has tips for parents who are embarking on this for the first time. If you have a younger child, then you you are you come you become the teacher 100%. She says one of the challenges is keeping her kids entertained. She learned that some days the kids need to get out of the house. So you need to be able to get them out the house and do things with them, you know, do field trips with them. And there are other things to consider. Being able to stay focused. Hannah Phillips, a teacher at Tennessee Connections Academy, an online school, says parents should also make sure their kids are disciplined. You know, make sure that their work is complete without someone necessarily looking over their shoulder all day long. Important thing, you have to make sure that the learning environment is conducive to learning. I'm just sent to render in Knoxville. Now, for parents interested in a virtual option, Tennessee Connections Academy's elementary classes are full, but you can still enroll your high schoolers until the end of September. All right, Jacinta Render, thank you.